Takashi Miike's 13 Assassins. Um, I heard about this movie from a friend when I first started getting into Miike. Well, I've always liked Miike, but this year I've really gotten into his movie. And he was telling me about uh, he made a samurai film, and then I found out it was coming on HDNet. And uh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. Uh, Drop my remote. Anyways, he told me about it coming out, and uh, I found out it was going to be on HDNet. And it's actually came on before Hobo with a shotgun, but. I was going to, I didn't get a chance to watch it real well because it was storming and the TV was messing up that night, so I didn't get to watch it as, as well as I wanted to. Um, plot for 13 Assassins is, uh, basically, the Shogun's brother is this ruthless, evil son of a gun who has no mercy for human life, and, uh, this is during peace times too, so samurais aren't really needed anymore, there's no war. But the Shogun's assistant is afraid that when the Shogun's brother takes power, he'll bring back the war times. So he hires a samurai to get a group together to assassinate uh, the Shogun's brother, so he can know, so he cannot take over uh, the show, become the Shogun when uh, his brother steps down. And he gets together 13 men, 13 samurais, to uh, kill the Shogun. Uh, this is really this is like Takashi Miike is like most technical outstanding he he directed this movie brilliantly I mean it's a beautifully well made movie uh, I mean, he's a he's always been a great director but this is really shows uh, his ability and it's a, it's a more toned down Mikkei film but there's still his edge to it there's still lots of violence and lots of bizarre stuff like a a woman with no arms and no legs that the Shogun his brother uh cut her arms legs and cut her mouth out and killed her family and the Shogun's assistant shows uh, I think that was the Shimizu I think his name is I can't remember I'm horrible with names in movies uh, shows her to him to help him uh, be motivated to want to assassinate the Shogun's brother and she has to stick a paintbrush in her mouth to write down what he did to her family because she can't talk because he also cut her tongue out so you know got some twists and stuff in it, but the movie is beautiful, and it's a very traditional samurai film. Um, just think of, like, Miike directed Seven Samurai. That's what this film is like. It doesn't reinvent the wheel when it comes to samurai films, but it's a very, very good movie. I mean, it's fantastic with a beautiful score, shot superb, and I've said that a hundred times now, but it, I, it's just, it's probably one of Miike's best movies visually. Like, it looks stunning. And the whole last hour is a fight scene that is one of the most epic things I've ever seen. It goes on literally an hour nonstop of just the 13 Samurais taking on the Shogun Brother Army. Um, I'm a huge Takashi Miike fan, and this really just showed how good he can be. And I'm hoping this will push people to understand how good of a director Takashi Miike is. He's really kind of become known as this guy who makes disturbing, taboo-breaking films. And yeah, he does do that. But he's also a, an amazing director who I would put up with anybody, technical-wise. I mean, I watch stuff like Graveyard of Honor and 13 Assassins and Time with the Man isn't just a brilliant director. Or anything he's done is amazing. But it seems like people don't want to, can't get past the fact that his movies are always of the extreme nature. So maybe this film will push him more, not into a mainstream lot, but just to get people to understand how talented he is. Uh, for an example, my brother-in-law watched this movie and he hates subtitle movies. He sits through the whole thing and loved it. And now he's a Mike fan. <laughs> it, it's it's a great movie. I know he's releasing another samurai film very soon. I can't pronounce the name. It's Hadakiri or something like that. I can't pronounce names very well, like I said. Um, this is a superb movie. Check it out. I know uh, Magnolia's Brother Sister Company, whatever you want to call it, Offshoot Company, Magnet is putting it out pretty soon, along with Hobo with a Shotgun. Um, fantastic movies, both of them. Uh, probably like 13 Assassins is a little better. I thought it was just a well-made movie. Um, a lot of blood, violence, and fun. You know, 
Miki, uh, one thing I've always noticed about Takashi and Miki is even when his movies are at the most violent, there's always a sense of humor to what he does, and it's no different with this movie. There's very serious moments, and there's also moments that are very goofy and silly, and that's what makes Miki Miki, in my opinion. I mean, look at something like Visitor Q. That's a horribly disgusting movie, but at the same time, it's really funny. And that's Miki, you know? But if you want to see uh, Miki at his most... I don't know how to say it, like, locked in visually, this is the movie. This or Graveyard of Honor, I think, are his two best directed movies. Not my favorites of his, but his best directing, I think, is 13 Assassins and Graveyard of Honor. But 13 Assassins is a fantastic movie, and everybody needs to check it out. And keep checking me out, because I'm going to keep doing reviews and all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to do videos and have fun, so y'all should too. See y'all later.